guys, I have another book review. And this one's a little different because it's not a self-help or spiritual in any way. Well, it is, but not in the spiritual way that like a pastor didn't write or anything. But it is by Jean Stratton Porter and it's called Freckles. And sometimes for me anyway, I can get more out of a fiction, a piece of fiction to apply it to my life than I can a self-help book. And this is one of those, oh my gosh, it's so good. Just about coming of age and humanity and nature and it's literally just so good. If you love nature, you will love this book. It is also just, it's about this boy named Freckles who is an orphan and so I'll just read it. He was abandoned as an infant and he was, well, he only goes by his nickname, Freckles. And then he's hired to take care of this Limberlost and it's this massive piece of land and he's there to protect it. And so he, it's just like his, just his journey of like being abandoned and then having this responsibility and finding a place to call home and belong and friends and, and just what happens after that. He's one handed and you don't know why until later in the book. And it's just so good. It's just a story of just redemption, hope, love. And there are people I think in our lives that feel a lot like freckles do. And so it's awesome when you read these things, it helps you like maybe discern when you're talking to someone be like, I know what that person needs and you be that for that person. And so that's why I love fiction because you can literally explore anything. You do not have any limits. You can put any, any person with any person with any situation in any circumstance in any place in any time. And it really can just minister and this book ministers. So when I read fiction often now, I will read it through spiritual lenses and I get so much out of it. Like seriously, I do that with movies sometimes. I don't really watch movies that much anymore. And I'm not recommending the movie I'm about to say. But the first time I watched The Matrix, this is gonna sound crazy. First time I watched The Matrix, it was like I got saved. I know that sounds bizarro, but the whole like we were, Neo is like living in this fake world where he's being used and abused and he doesn't even know it. And he's he's being a part of feeding this, this evil system. And then someone comes to him and wakes him up to the real world. And only then is he able to bring per live out his purpose and free other people. When I watched that, it was like this parallel of what it means to, when you become a Christian. And it was like insane. <laughs> so I don't recommend the movie. But I'm just saying that if you love fiction, you can bring God into into what you are, um, the perspective when you're watching and when you're reading. And so Freckles is one of those, those books that really spoke to me. So yeah, you should totally pick up Freckles. It, I don't know where you're gonna find it because it's old. It's like, it uses words that you probably don't hear every day, but that's kind of also what makes it so fun. And let's see, it was published in 1904. Um, you should get it. And there's another one called Girl of the Limberlost. I've not read it, but I've watched the movie. There's a movie on it, it's really old. But you can probably find this on Amazon and you should get it. And you should read it if you like that this this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's on, it's on Amazon right now. $5.99 friends, $5.99. Go to Amazon and get this book. It's probably even an ebook by now. All right, well, thank you, and I will see you guys in another video in which I will speak more. Bye. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from a nice warm bed, you just remember what your old pal said. Boy,